So this is Mike from Windows 7 Forums. Uh, here we're going to discuss Microsoft Office 2010, which is an excellent suite of software that we have. And we'll want to take a look at it here and see all of the programs that come with the Professional Plus version of Microsoft Office 10. We have Microsoft Access, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft InfoPath Designer, Microsoft Info, InfoPath Filler, uh, OneNote, we have Outlook, PowerPoint Publisher, SharePoint Workspace, Word 2010, and we have some tools as always, uh, the uh, Language Preferences, Upload Center, and Picture Manager. Um, among the greatest features of Microsoft Office that have been added uh, is just simply the added simplicity of creating new documents as well as the whole idea of being able to run these applications without them completely slowing down your computer. We're actually going to simultaneously launch a whole bunch of applications at the same time and we'll see how much memory these applications are taking up here. Uh, when we look very closely we begin to see a picture um, that looks pretty good. Uh, for example, let's go alphabetical right here. We see that Groove, which has actually been renamed to InfoPath, is running at 18 megabytes, access at seven, around 17, OneNote at 20, uh, Outlook at 65, uh, and that's only because we have a open account which has thousands of emails in it. Uh, we also have, let's see here, uh, where is Word? Oh, Excel is using about 12 to 13 megabytes of memory, and Word is actually using around 18 or 19 megabytes of memory. Um, and some of the new options compared to 2007 are very simple under the hood changes that simply make using the applications much faster, much easier, um, very simple. We, you know, we can create complex uh, links to databases using Access and, and Excel. At the same time, we can also use an enhanced version of Outlook that has far fewer problems that has better compatibility with IMAP as opposed to POP3 and with SharePoint Workspace which was once Groove we can work with our fellow colleagues to uh, consolidate information and work in a uh, consolidated way which uh, doesn't require VPN or anything of that nature it just requires that everyone is logged into a SharePoint Workspace account uh, this is the advent of several Windows Live services coming together and it's pretty useful for projects and business but not necessarily something that you would use at home. OneNote, uh, as it says, keeps track of stuff at work, home, uh, home and school. It's a great way of keeping notes. Uh, it started off as a very simple uh, way to put post-its on your screen. Uh, not to uh, infringe on the post-it trademark but that was what it was and you can now in the newer version really um, expand upon that and use it for note-taking uh, in different categories you can create new sections and new groups and notebooks so OneNote has really developed since the uh, older version it's pretty much like having a notebook um, in your computer basically um, and with Word you can pretty much load thousands upon thousands of pages of documents with very few problems as you see here some new text effects were added to Word we can type like this and see what it looks like when we expand upon it and it, you know it looks pretty good there are many ways to create very functional documents uh, there's some new uh, new info bar here and uh, basically we have easier ways to create formulas in Excel uh, better ways to control the weight height and scale the layout of a document 
uh, better ways to actually uh, link data when we're talking about um, consolidating data and linking to databases from all sorts of sources whether it's an access database from the web uh, from a SQL server we're able to use these tools uh, in a very quick fashion the programs have been completely optimized they're very very fast and they're much better than the 2007 version where we saw um, a very marked improvement over Office 2003 but at the same time huge problems with Outlook um, and you know some other problems with uh, resource usage that we also saw with Windows Vista now with Microsoft Outlook we really have an option here um, now to use the new business contact manager 2010 so small businesses will benefit from this software immediately they will notice a much faster connection to the business contact manager database because it's using a newer version of SQL uh, the code has been improved drastically and really overall Office 2010 is actually a great resource um, it's pretty much Microsoft's baby as far as applications go it's their most popular product uh, other than Windows and you're going to enjoy using uh, Microsoft Office 2010 it's a lot better than 2007 would it justify an upgrade from 2007 if you're in an office environment definitely if you're a home user you may not want to jump to that upgrade unless you're seriously heavily involved in using office for creating newsletters and emails and all sorts of things you'll really want to upgrade if that's the case but if you're not if you're a casual user you may want to hold off on upgrading but it's always good if you have the opportunity and the funds to do so it does not hurt whatsoever and you can only benefit from this recoding of the software which is absolutely fantastic for users um, and really a great uh, upgrade there so if you take a look over here uh, we also see when we go to tools that Microsoft has added an upload center this allows you to upload any document created in an office to pretty much any server and the way that you can do this is through the upload center this is pretty much for people that don't know how to use FTP servers but it can be very useful as a matter of fact uh, for the casual um, internet user that doesn't really know anything about uh, internet publishing you can also uh, change language preferences as always but we also have a picture manager that comes into play we can see that we can manage pictures much like Google Picasa uh, although there really is no comparison we can crop photos edit pictures but uh, when it comes down to it the picture editor has never really been that great but it is a marked improvement from 2007 overall Windows Office uh, I'm sorry Microsoft Office 2010 promises lower resource consumption uh, better use of pre-existing features and introduces some new features both in Excel and Access uh, as far as InfoPath goes um, and with especially with OneNote and you will enjoy using Office 2010 although not perfect uh, it certainly is a lot better than 2007 so we here at Windows 7 forums would strongly recommend and encourage you to take a look at the software and possibly upgrade to it uh, visit us at windows7forums.com and you can get all up-to-date information on this product you can ask questions you can receive troubleshooting support and tips and this is a great suite of software it's great for students it's great for workers and it's always been Microsoft's number one productivity suite and it's just getting better and hopefully Outlook won't crash as much. <laughs> That's uh, one of the areas where we think they've probably drastically improved the software. And as you can see, the icons are very easy to move around in Windows 7 and so on and so forth. And it looks like they were almost designed uh, to be used in Windows 7 with the lettering and so on and so forth. So you'll enjoy Windows, uh, Office 2010, and we hope that you'll make the best use of it. Visit us at Windows 7 Forums, windows7forums.com for all your computing needs.